So for example, uh, in Eastern Europe, political and regulatory stability was a really big factor. Some These are things we sometimes take for granted in uh, other countries and other places in the world. So acts proposed by the ruling party or changes in regulation meant that the organization had to quickly also change and deliver change to implement those changes. Uh, so there potentially might be new things we had to do every month as a result of these political or regulatory changes. So imagine trying to have these beautiful plans for three months or for a year when every month there was a new burning platform or a new burning issue you had to address. And in this case, change was being forced onto the organization frequently and unpredictably. And the organization had to find a way to respond or literally uh, lose its license to operate. We're talking regulatory changes here. Mm -hmm. So responsiveness to assessing and acting on a change due to external stimuli uh, becomes a very important characteristic of the organization. So, you know, if you take a step back, you start asking yourself, how do you plan for the unpredictable along with the work you plan to achieve? How do you find a way as an organization to deliver on your targets and committed deliverables for the year while also accommodating this disruption that you also have to tackle? Mm 